Before we identify the valence C, first let us write down what are the possible number of outermost electrons an element can occupy. So that we have taken as number of outermost electrons which is otherwise known as valence electrons. So for the given element, the number of valence electrons or the outermost electrons can vary from 1 to 8. So first let us start filling the number of outermost electrons in the first row. So the reason why we have written as 1 to 8 is because we know that for an atom to be stable the number of outermost electrons must be 8 that is it must satisfy the octet rule. So that's the reason we have taken the numbers from only 1 to 8 and not more than 8. And now we are going to identify what could be the valency of these elements that is if an element is having the number of outermost electrons or valence electrons as one then what could be the valency if the number of outermost electrons are two then what could be the valency though so that is what we are going to see now first let's start with the one so this particular element is having one electron in its outermost orbit. So it requires seven more electrons in order to occur the octet configuration. So let us now look for the possibility either this element can gain seven electrons in order to uh, occur the octet configuration. There is also another way this particular element can donate its one outermost electron in order to occur the stable configuration. So which is easy for us? Is it donating one electron or gaining seven electrons? So donating one is easy, right? So let's go with that. So the valency of this particular element is one. In the similar way, let us look for the other one. So this element is having the number of outermost electrons as two. So rather than gaining six electrons for occurring octet configuration, it can donate two electrons. So donating two is very easy. So the valency becomes two. Similarly, when number of outermost electrons are three, in order to occur the octet configuration, it requires five more electrons. So donating three electrons is quite easier than gaining five electrons. So which is the easy way? Donating three electrons. So the valency is three. And now coming to four. So this means that particular element is having four electrons in its outermost orbit. So it can either donate four electrons or it can gain four electrons for occurring the octet configuration. So both are same, right? Either it can gain four or it can donate four. So the valency becomes four. And now when coming on to five, it's just opposite to what we have seen so far. So it's already having five electrons in its outermost orbit. So in order to occur the octet configuration, it requires three more electrons. So it's easy for this particular element to gain three electrons rather than donating five electrons. So here the valency becomes three. I think now it's clear for you. So you have to always go with the easiest possible way. In all these cases, rather than gaining, it's easy to donate. But whereas from 5 to 7, the case is totally different. And for 6, it's easy to gain 2 electrons to become octet rather than donating 6. So the valency becomes 2. And here the number of outermost electrons are already 7. So this particular element uh, needs only one electron in order to occur the octet configuration. So rather than donating seven electrons, this can easily gain one electron and becomes a stable one. So the valency becomes one. And finally here, already this particular element is having eight electrons in its outermost orbit. So it is already in the octet configuration and it is in the stable state. It will neither lose electrons or nor gain electrons. So the valency out to become zero. 
So we can simply say that when the number of outermost electrons are 1, 2 or 3, the element can easily donate the outermost electrons rather than gaining the electrons. And when the number of outermost electrons are 4, it can either donate or it can either gain electrons in order to occur the octet configuration. And on the other hand, if the number of outermost electrons are 5, 6 or 7, then it's easy for that particular element to gain electrons to occur the octet configuration. So this is the simple trick for you to identify the valency based on the number of outermost electrons. Hope so. This was helpful and thank you for watching my video.